Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. I know it's been a while and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Cutlass Black. So let's get into this and unpack a couple of things about the ship itself. So here we are in the front and um, I have outfitted it with uh, all Panther repeaters. But usually stock it comes with two Scorpions and two Badgers. So uh, size two Gimbals. I made them size 3 fixed and the turret come by default uh, size 3 fixed on the top as you can see there all right so we're taking a good look at the outside of the ship really briefly we got ourselves some VTOL engines and uh, the other side of the ship is exactly the same so we're gonna go ahead and drop the ramp here I think this ship is very underrated. Um, I absolutely 100% uh, use this ship as my daily driver, although there are other ships I use for other things. Um, but this ship can be used to pretty much do everything. So here's my rock here. Uh, in the cargo bed area here, um, it's 46 SCU of cargo. You can store vehicles and things like that. And um, you can actually use it as a drop ship as well because you have three and three for six seats here in the rear. All right, and you can use it as a drop ship and basically do, you know, piracy. You can even do, uh, you know, policing if you want to do like some kind of like role play and things like that. Or if you're doing events, you can, you know, drop teammates off or pick teammates up and they'll have a place to sit so they're not flying all over the ship. All right. Got a little area here to do like smaller box missions if you so choose to. And uh, so, so like the Cutlass Steel, the only difference is that it has some guns here, turrets, right? But I mean, it's not really worth the uh, price increase for the steel in my opinion. It doesn't really offer you much more. But here you can, you know, do some boarding missions if you want to do uh, boarding on a ship that's soft death, like once again for piracy or... Hopefully in the future when we do get apprehension, you know, for bounty hunting and policing, uh, that'll be a thing where we'll actually be able to board ships and, you know, uh, apprehend and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. So here we are in the crew quarters. And um, so here we have our bunks. Uh, this is broken right now. So you'll be able to bed log, but your teammate won't be able to bed log with you, unfortunately. But when they fix it, you'll be able to log with your crew. Here's the uh, seat for the turret. And so the cool thing about these two lockers here is that this is shared inventory. So whenever you put something in this locker, your teammate will actually be able to go inside of this locker and utilize that inventory. So that's pretty cool. All right, you've got a gun rack here. So you can put four weapons here. And um, all right, let's go ahead and get into the cockpit area. So here, this is, I guess, going to be the engineer station. This is going to be the co-pilot seat. They're going to have access to most of the same MFDs that you will have access to. So in the future, when engineering is a thing and you're in combat, you're doing like, you know, piloting and you get hit and there's damage, uh, they might be able to like, you know, cycle power or transfer power. You know, like if you're losing power to engines, you know, uh, they'll be able to do your power management for you or, you know, basically transfer power to certain components that might be or, or take power out of certain components that might be overcharging or overheating or things like that and just manage all your stuff which is pretty cool um you know and also of course you already know on the uh, cut list we have a fire extinguisher so in the future when you know the ship takes damage and it gets on fire your co-pilot uh while the turret gunner and yourself are taking care of the combat situation uh will be able to put the fires out and things of that nature so, moving into the pilot seat here, I'm going to go ahead and get my, uh, my stuff set up here. So everything that you could possibly need and desire for an MFD setup is here. Now, for some people, this might not be ideal if you're, like, you know, really into PvP and stuff, although it doesn't really affect me. I PvP in this, I can do PvE in this, like, I, I have absolutely no problems flying this ship in any combat setting. Um, but I know for some of you, all of these MFDs here, you know, you don't really have the best visibility, but uh, to be honest, you have so much 
visibility up and above you and behind you you know so if you're one of those people that uses toby eye tracker you're not going to have any problems and then if you look down at your feet you've actually got gaps here where you can see so even though like directly right in front of you you know you have all these mfds i find it really useful because you have your radar here so you'll know where all your targets are in correspondence to your radar you know and then um you got your power management right here where you can actually monitor your power management right above that you've got your ship's health status and you know you've got your uh your signatures over here so now over here i typically take shields off and put comms i think i've explained this before in previous videos it's just that for whatever reason when any of the enemies or hurston security or whatever crusader security try to contact you your target status disappears and then you won't be able to see how much damage you're putting on your enemy if their shields are still up or not so i typically just put comms down there this way it doesn't interfere all right and over here last but not least we have our systems so i'll keep it just like this you can see we have 16 missiles right now and um if you really want to you can you know switch this up and uh you can go and put your guns there maybe you don't want to have all your guns active you can turn them on and off um, you can also just go to your missiles and do the same thing you can see which missiles you have how many of which missiles you have you know and things like that so that's pretty cool all right now um as far as for me i have um specific buttons set to things like uh, turning off weapons and shields which i'm not going to turn off my shields because it takes a while for them to come back but um you know this is important because if you know you're not necessarily running a stealth build or anything but if you're trying to you know sneak up on a player target and they see you coming from like 15 kilometers away it's it's good to keep your shields down your weapons off and then when you're coming in you know you turn them on as you're approaching it's just a, a better strat in my opinion so you know you've got everything that you need to see right here you know on your main interface so we have four panther repeaters like i said before and usually when you're running with a gunner you will have six panther repeaters so take a look in the front here and i also like the aesthetic of drake ships they're really rugged and sci-fi looking it's pretty cool so let me know if you guys care if it's an mrt uh group or a hrt or higher um because usually with these i try to pick whatever the hardest thing i currently have is this way you know it's not like oh well, yeah it, it can do all this stuff and then it's like well you know it just takes longer you know um but um we're gonna we're gonna show you if you're having issues flying a cutlass how to fly a cutlass um because the cutlass definitely takes some finessing so that is something to keep in mind um i'm also going to put call to arms on okay we're saving up for a um a hurricane so that's like my main go-to um bounty hunting like when i'm doing player bounties so i'm saving up for that so that i can do that with my partner and have fun doing that okay let's go ahead and get those hangar doors open and let's get her done you are clear to launch
gonna go ahead and land the cutty. And the point of this video is not to really, you know, be like, hey man, the Cutlass is the greatest, uh, you know, fighter, medium fighter, whatever, you know. The point is that, hey, you know, if you had to use this ship as a daily driver, which I totally recommend this ship as a daily driver, because it can do pretty much everything. It can do cargo, it can do mining, you know, if you're gonna bring a rock on board and do like rock mining. You know, uh, you can go into caves with this vehicle because while it's on the larger side, it's still small enough to fit into some caves. Um, you know, for cave mining or if you're doing like cave bounties, things like that, it's perfect for bounty hunting. And I'm not going to lie to you, it's great for PvP as well. You can bounty hunt in this solo or preferably with a gunner, you know, if you want to split that money. But then again, PvP bounties is never about the money, you know what I mean? So it's totally up to you, you know, how you guys feel and what you decide to do. But I think that this this ship is very underrated. Um, I think that people give this ship a lot of flack for no reason. You know, it takes a lot of skill to fly, and I understand that. And, you know, like, a lot of people might not like the way it feels when it flies. But the thing is, it's like a car or a truck or, you know, whatever you drive every day, you're going to be used to. So you're going to have more of a hey, I like this better than that type of feeling, right? But in my opinion, I feel like if you learn to drive everything, you know, like if you can fly a Vanguard, if you can fly a Hurricane, you can fly an Arrow, a Gladius, a Pisces, a Hammerhead, a Corsair, you know, like if you can fly any ship in the game, you're not going to have any problems flying a Cutlass in, into battle and, and being successful, you know, getting a good outcome and things like that. So, all right, we got to go on the other side. No, no, it, sh it should be right here. Yeah, okay. So, you notice I, sw I swap between coupled, decoupled all the time. I swap between VTOL and non-VTOL. You know, I take advantage of those, you know, turning engines, man. Like, it's, it's really convenient. And I just feel like there's a lot more I would like to incorporate into, like you know, this video, I just feel like it's already too long as it is, but, um, yeah, if there's any questions at all, guys, just, you know, feel free to ask, because personally, like, I was one of those people that was like, man, um, the Cuddy's whatever, like, it's, it's a whatever starter ship, blah, 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 and, um, yeah, you know, now that I actually purchased one with real money, and I fly this thing every single day, I also have a Gladius, but I actually like only flying my Gladius when I'm doing events or when I'm trying to, like, rush through bounties just to get them, or if I'm specifically going try hard for PvP bounties, then I'll bring out my Gladius. Green, we can go ahead and look on the outside of the ship, see if we have any kind of paint missing any scuffs any damage uh we didn't get hit by any missiles we kept our shields up relatively for the most of you know most part somebody just crashed into the freaking station